Welcome to Hollywood Unapologetic. My name is Orlando Delbert. I wanted to speak to you a little bit about the new Hollywood generation. You may be asking yourself, what is the new Hollywood generation? Well, the answer in its simplest form, it's you. This is an important time in history. All over the world there is a transitional shift occurring sociologically, culturally, and politically. We live in a time where social unrest and images of war are read about and seen on the airwaves daily. As we turn on the morning news, there seems to be an endless succession of stories of discontent all over the world and here at home in our local communities. These events and how they are depicted have an impact on each and every one of us directly and indirectly. Some of these events have a direct bearing on a whole generation economically and psychologically. The most obvious is a disenfranchised sense of where they belong in the world. This in part fuels a certain disconnect on the most basic levels where interaction through social media and text messaging is preferred over face-to-face -face connections. Add to that a level of false self-entitlement has a place to flourish under the guise of perceived greatness with oneself with the ease of creating your own micro-celebrity through social media. This is a huge disservice to oneself because of a huge opportunity that is being lost. Think about it. If all of the time spent on selfies and inane ramblings and videos about nonsense, that time and effort can be used to do something constructive with it. And it has ramifications on a far larger scale. And this is something I think about and talk about a lot. If 1% of the 75 million young people that are considered a millennial were more mindful of what they post online and the content they are creating, instead of focused on a message, it can directly influence history on a global scale. But this conversation is not at all limited to just one generation. There is also another problem in our society here in the United States and around the world. I'm not sure if it's that people are caught up in a limited acceptance of one another's beliefs or if they feel threatened by what they don't know. Too many individuals are caught up in an anachronistic mindset that defeats the possibility for a unified world. While our technology is evolving quickly, we are not evolving fast enough. History has shown us that mass media can effectively influence change. As a community of content creators, we are in a unique position to influence change and it is our responsibility to do so. Think about it. If more of us can get together to create films and television programming with a positive message, hire more people from broader backgrounds and not limit ourselves or our potential by identifying one another only by race, color, sex, religion, sexual preference or someone's limitations, we can influence the masses to be more open-minded. This will give us the ability to have a broader audience as well as to influence others to tell the stories and hopefully be less afraid to tell them. The world is greatly influenced by what is seen on the screen and heard on the radio. Let's give them something that will drive everyone to do something bigger and to make a positive difference in the world. You and I live in a unique time in history where our views and actions can have a great influence over sociological trends and behaviors. We have the power to create events as they occur and broadcast them live over social media. No time ever before was it possible for the average man to have access to a worldwide audience in real time. We must take the responsibility of telling the stories of potential and a positive future not based only on life experiences of cruel viciousness and loss growing up in the shadows of violence driven by hate, but instead of something bigger than ourselves where we can see hope in the future where we come together for the greater good. It is our responsibility to have a positive single narrative. This may seem like a daunting task and somewhat intimidating, and some may even think this is unrealistic. But I know if enough of us take on this challenge, we will slowly influence future generations to learn from the mistakes that have happened in the past and happening now. The Arab Spring is undisputable proof of the power of multiple live streams, politically significant information from events by the common man, and how they can have a lasting event on a global stage. The use of social media and affordable digital technologies made it possible to circumvent state-operated media channels, providing a platform for collective activism and allowing for digital democracy. The use of videos, photos, emails, and text messages generated from mobile devices and broadcasted online have all been of major significance to all of the nations affected in North Africa by these uprisings. By no means is this the solution to the problems America is going through or anywhere else in the world for that matter. But this realistically can be one of the pieces our society needs if it is planned out and approached correctly. Are you up for the challenge? 
So here's a challenge I have for you. I would like you to consider what is happening in your world, your neighborhood, your life. Make a sober assessment on what is going on and really think about how those in your immediate circle are affected by the state of your community. Take a step back and look at everything objectively. This is crucial because far too many individuals look at things emotionally without being objective and this all too often leads to discouraging the strength of your voice and its need to be heard. This can also lead to violence by those not willing to accept any other point of view outside of their narrow field of vision. Here is something to think about. Some theorize that by design of a tyrannical and oppressive government, one specific group of our citizenry have fallen victim to violent attacks. If that line of thought is accurate, wouldn't an organized and thorough presentation of facts would be a much stronger tool to open people's minds and gain a positive momentum towards change than it would be capturing on a cell phone a friend jumping up and down in front of police officers yelling obscenities and racial slurs and broken slang in the hopes to be physically injured and detained on camera? Please don't get me wrong, I'm in no way inferring one should discount your experiences and the experiences of others, but strength comes in an honest understanding of both sides of any issue and a willingness to have a voice that is concise, accurate, and direct. This gives the masses a strong and unified voice, but it also comes with a great responsibility. As content creators, we need to be objective in our sharing of our life experiences. We must take into account how our voices will influence not just those directly involved in the events we are sharing and the generations of those we may never meet through a ripple effect. We must make a very conscious decision on what the message should be shared and it's going to be and do our best to make it clear, comprehensive and if possible a solution or at least offer options toward a solution. This is the only way to have true solidarity with one another. This is true in the discussion of racial parity and inclusion in hiring practices. And it's not limited to just one's race, but also one's sex, age, and those socially views as being disabled. This is a movement I call the New Hollywood Generation that is growing today. Its foundation is all based on you and I to strive to be better versions of ourselves and to be inclusive of one another. We, as a community, can grow together and be the change our communities and our industry needs. We can find unity together and be the change our future needs. Many people don't take advantage of their full potential. I strongly believe we all have the qualities of being a leader. There's an entrepreneur spirit that many individuals in power positions have and the balls to have a plan and just run with it no matter what. And the willingness to adapt to circumstances to keep moving forward. But in our day to day in the Hollywood trenches, we see a lot of this is limited. Hollywood has a leadership problem. America has a leadership problem. It's in the trenches with us in our travels through the entertainment world and through our daily lives. Far too many people limit their own potential and are self-defeating. It's not just in the entertainment world, it's in all aspects of life. As a representative of the new Hollywood generation, you can make a difference now. The point is, regardless of your race, color, gender, or sexual preference, you want to be a director, producer, actor, musician, dancer, grip, photographer, copywriter, whatever. Stop complaining and just do it. We all need to pay our dues throughout our careers and throughout our lives. Anyone who tells you different, who has had to work for a living, are either ignorant or they're just lying to you. Hollywood is filled with people that just complain and don't do much about finding a solution. There are not a lot of true leaders in the Hollywood trenches that are willing to take a chance on something different. This the issue of having a more diverse place for different ethnicities and more opportunities for women and those that are handicapped in the television and film industry is no different. The arguments made by many about low percentages of this and that don't move the issue forward. Actually opening your mind and creating collaborative projects does. And this is true in everyday life as well. Always remember that if you believe in yourself and the importance of your message, you can do it. Many people settle and lose sight of what they believe in and what their dreams are. Just go for it. Something I like to leave you with. Many things in life are temporary, and this is no truer than in Hollywood. Jobs, relationships, and all the good and bad things life will throw at us. We are all in it together. Each and every one of us is an important part of our future. You are important to the lives of those who surround you. You are important to our communities. You are important to our industry. 
no matter what. Remain optimistic and focused on your goal. Never stop believing in yourself. And always remember, you are the key to your own success. Take a breath, move forward. And together, let's create a revival, a resurgence of Hollywood, and bring back the auteur to cinema. Be an active part of the new Hollywood generation. You are a representative of the new Hollywood generation. You are a representative of the new Hollywood generation. Join Hollywood Unapologetic in our quest to positively empower one another, to empower our industry as we speak openly to industry professionals about the true pursuit of our Hollywood dreams and in life. Hollywood Unapologetic is a continuation of the Pollyanna's tear soaked Battlefields of Hollywood, a survival guide against the cynicism and the hypocritical series of books designed to help you better prepare for success. It is now our time to strive to be a better version of ourselves and to be inclusive of one another. We, as a community, can grow together and be the change our industry needs. We can find unity together and be the change our future needs. We are the new Hollywood generation. Welcome to Hollywood Unapologetic.